What's up, everybody? I went to a conveyor belt sushi restaurant in Tokyo, Japan. The name of the place? Uzu Shio Kaiten Sushi. Now, it ain't exactly the cheapest conveyor belt sushi restaurant I've ever been to, but I think the quality is pretty damn good. So as you can see by this buck wild signage, they have a shitload of varieties of sushi at this place. Anyway, I went inside and took a seat. First order of business, get some powdered green tea on deck. So I'm gonna shake a few dashes of that green tea powder in my mug and get some hot water in that bitch. Anyway, about this time in the video, I'm kinda wondering, are there any sushi Nazis watching right now? Because if you are a sushi Nazi, please stick around. I have a real fucking treat in store for you, baby. So I got my green tea all set up, and now I'm going to grab my first plate of sushi. Here we've got some unagi, a.k.a. eel sushi. Now personally, I'm a huge fan of unagi sushi. They serve it in some kind of sweet teriyaki-esque sauce that tastes delicious as hell. Combine that with the succulents of some well-cooked eel, and you've got the recipe for a sick-ass piece of sushi. Now I'm pouring out my dish of soy sauce, and I'm kind of wondering, have I violated a rule of the sushi Nazis yet? I probably have. Basically, sushi Nazis are people with an overblown concept of sushi etiquette. These fucking armchair fish aficionados have watched one too many YouTube videos, and suddenly they feel like fucking sushi experts. Anyway, check out that unagi. It's glistening in the light and it looks juicy as fuck. So I'm flipping that puppy on its side, gonna give it a little dip, and here we go. And wow, just wow, that is some delicious fucking unagi right there. Tasted so damn good, it would melt the heart of even the staunchest sushi Nazi. So let's flip that next piece on its side, give it a good little dip, and here we go. Damn, that's some good shit right there. I think when it comes to sushi, you don't want to cheap out. Actually, I don't eat sushi very often, but when I do, I try to get the good shit. Like this plate, for example. For this sushi, the chef got some salmon on rice, topped it off with some Japanese mayo, then seared that motherfucker with a blowtorch. Think it's safe to say that sushi is looking delicious as fuck. So let's get this sushi, turn it on its side, sushi Nazi style, and let's get ready to dip this puppy. Man, just look at that sushi. Looks pretty fucking buck wild if you ask me. So here we go. And wow, just wow, talk about a delicious piece of sushi right there. Fucking thing melted in my mouth. So let's get that next piece, turn it on its side to please the sushi Nazis. After all, the sushi Nazis insist that you should not get any rice dipped in the soy sauce. That's right, the sushi Nazis would have you believe that that rice is like a big sponge that just sucks up the soy sauce and makes your fucking sushi salty as hell. I guess in theory that makes sense, but in practice I've never actually had a problem with that happening. Now, according to Japanese people that I've spoken to, the average Japanese person views eating sushi as a casual eating experience. Basically, they say you can eat sushi however the hell you want. It ain't that serious. Anyway, I've got my next plate on deck. I've got some buri sushi. This is kind of a no-frills sushi, just a back-to-the-basic sushi. <coughs> And damn, that fish tastes fresh as fuck. It kind of lacks the pizzazz of the previous two plates I had, but nonetheless, pretty damn good sushi. And whoa, 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 what the fuck am I doing now? I'm holding that sushi with my hand. Holy shit, what's that? Fun fact, apparently in old times, people used to eat sushi with their hands. Some people still do. So of course, some sushi Nazis insist you shouldn't even use chopsticks when you eat sushi. Yeah, sounds like a good idea on paper, but guess what? I don't want my fingers smelling like a damn fish after I eat my sushi, so I think I'll stick to the chopsticks for the rest of this video. So as you can see, I got another plate of unagi. What can I say? I love this shit. And whoa, 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 I'm dipping it in the rice. What the fuck? Well, I just chomped that piece of sushi down, and it still tasted real fucking good. Practically no difference in the taste. So how do you like them apples, sushi Nazis? Let's see what I'm gonna do next, and whoa, what the fuck, I did it again. 
That's right, I've got news for you sushi Nazis out there. I'm calling you out on your bullshit. Most Japanese people literally do not care at all how you eat your sushi. In other words, if I happen to eat sushi the way that makes me happy, then usually Japanese people are also happy. And no one's gonna bite your fucking dick off if you do it the wrong way. Eating sushi ain't some kind of code of honor, it ain't the fucking Bushido, man. Anyway, I've got my next plate of sushi on deck. It looks like an ama ebi ikura combo. In other words, we've got some shrimp with salmon egg sushi popping off in this bitch. Now check out this next move. I learned this from observing Japanese people in sushi restaurants. And oh man, I poured that fucking soy sauce deep inside that sushi. I'm sure I just broke all kinds of sushi Nazi rules, but hey, I saw Japanese people do it, so kindly fuck off with that sushi Bushido bullshit. Anyway, the sushi looks pretty interesting, so let's try it out. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It tastes alright. I mean, I'm loving that salmon egg action, but the whole baby shrimp thing? Not special for me. I guess you can't pick winners all the time, right? So at this point I'm feeling pretty satisfied. I think I'll just get one more plate here. We've got a plate of salmon seared to perfection with some salmon eggs on top of the salmon. I gotta say, that's looking pretty fucking delicious. Now check this out, sushi Nazis. I'm pouring more soy sauce on that bitch. I mean, pouring the soy sauce on there actually makes more sense in this case because as you will see, as soon as I move that sushi, fucking eggs are falling all over the place. And man, that was some good-ass sushi right there. Holy shit. Now the next piece only has four eggs left on it. It's kind of a damn shame, but here we go. Okay, so did some salmon eggs fall off that sushi? Yes, they did. But just imagine how many fucking eggs would go flying all over the place if I dipped that sushi in the soy sauce dish. I mean, hey people, I ain't the world's foremost fucking sushi connoisseur, but I sure as hell have a leg up on those damn sushi Nazis. So here I am trying to practice my buck wild fucking chopstick skills picking up individual slimy ass eggs. Anyway, enough with that bullshit. Time to get the check. Let's check out how many plates I got here. Different colored plates are different price. So when you finish, you just tell the lady that works there. She calculates the total price and that's that. So the final price of this chow fest was 1700 yen. Like I said before, this place ain't the cheapest, but sometimes you gotta treat yourself, and I know for one, I'm fucking worth it, baby. So thanks for watching this buck wild conveyor belt sushi video. Why don't you leave a comment, let me know what you think.